Hello and welcome. My name is Babs and this is my channel Babs with Babs. Today's lymph flow yoga practice is going to be all about lower extremity lymph flow. So if you have any leg swelling, ankle swelling, abdominal swelling, this is the practice for you. So get into something comfortable and come and meet me on your mat. So I'm sitting up on a bolster, but you can take a pillow or a block or anything that might help you just to get your hips a little bit higher, let your legs relax. You can also start by sitting on the edge of your couch or edge of your bed if that feels better. And then once, once you have arrived, just close your eyes and let your shoulders relax. As we take our first few breaths together this morning, just allow your shoulders to melt away from the ears. Let your spine be in a comfortable, strong, confident position. And then just notice how you're breathing in this moment. See if you can relax your face muscles. Notice the surroundings, listen to any noises you might hear in your home. Notice any smells that might be around you. And then notice where your hands meet or connect with your body. Notice the pressure of your hands into the thighs or knees. Notice the connection between your bottom and a cushion or the floor. And then just notice how it feels to just sit in silence. Notice how it feels to just take a pause out of your life and be totally here. You've carved out this next half hour just to benefit yourself, so take advantage. Notice the rhythm of your breath. And then we'll take a moment just to cradle our body. So either just placing hands to the shoulders or hugging your abdominal region or whatever you hold on to, just to give yourself a little cradle. And then give yourself permission to let go today. So let go of stagnant fluid, let go of previous past trauma or stress. And today we'll be all about creating space for new energy, new happiness and joy to float in. And then release the hands down, palms facing up this time. And then we'll just take a moment here to take a slow breath in. Exhale, let it out. <sighs> breath in. Let it go. <sighs> One more inhale and let it go. <sighs> Hands come together in heart center, palms connect, and then the thumbs come to our sternum. Give this area a little bit of a massage with the thumb knuckles. And then just setting this intention for letting go, for opening, for releasing. And then we'll rub our hands together, creating some warmth, some heat, some friction. And then just open the hands and imagine that there's this little ball of energy between your hands. And then if you don't feel any energy or warmth or heat or vibration, do it again. So creating some 
warmth and heat and then cup the energy feel it and then one more time rub 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 and then choose where you'd like this energy to go so maybe it's your heart space maybe it's your forehead maybe it's your breast or chest maybe it's your leg so place this energy intentionally where you want it to go and inhale in your mind say thank you exhale body for healing thank you body for healing thank you body for healing and then release the arms we can blink open our eyes inhale sweep the arms up stretch up wiggle the fingers look up grab for the energy that you need above head and then we'll draw it down into the heart one more time inhale lift up stretch up big morning or afternoon stretch and then hands come down to heart center perfect we're going to uncross our legs and then cross the opposite leg on top now or you can just extend the legs if the legs are, are talking to you at all as we engage our manual lymph drainage so we're going to begin our warm-up so take the hands across the chest or just one hand at a time and we're going to create circular skin stretching in towards the neck so soften through your body allow this to be therapeutic Allow this to be self-soothing. Just massage around this area. And then slide the hands to the neck. You're gonna stretch the skin down towards the collarbone. Sometimes it feels good to take the hands to kind of between the neck and the shoulder, that muscle right there, just kind of draw down. Helps to release a little tension. Good, and then coming to the shoulders, stretching the skin of the shoulders as you bring the elbows up and down. You can also do this one hand at a time too, getting all those shoulder collectors or lymph vessels to help to encourage fluid surrounding the shoulder. And then the other side, really helpful if you have some achy, arthritic shoulders to get some blood flow, some lymph flow in those joints. And then we're going to open up the remainder of the lymph nodes in the body as well, just so that we can encourage a full body flow. So we'll take our hand underneath the armpit and start to pump underneath the armpit here about five to ten times. So a nice massage. You can lift the arm up if that feels good. And then come to the other side. So igniting, waking up all these lymph nodes will help to better filter the fluid so that more fluid can enter in. So think of a security line at the airport. If we get the security to move faster, pump people through faster, then the line becomes shorter and we get out a lot quicker. But if there's someone kind of clogging up the system, then we get clogged up, the rest of us get clogged up. So. Let your body relax here, and then we're gonna do some lymph movement for the abdominal region. So first we're gonna take our hands, so find your rib cage, and then place your hands kind of right on top of the rib cage, and we're just gonna create some circular pumping here. So just some circles here, so don't get too in your mind of which direction should it go, which way should I move it, just activate here. So just doing some circle pumps. This is really good for digestive health too. And then draw the hands down. You might need to lean back a little bit to create some space. Pinkies near the hip bones, and then you're gonna pump, find these circular pumps here as well. If you can go underneath the, the clothing so that you have skin to skin contact, that'll help the traction the skin a little bit more. You can see on clothing, your hand kind of slips off, but if not, that's okay too. And then we'll spread our fingers nice and wide, and then we're gonna inhale a little resistance here as we inhale, and then exhale, let it go. 
Breathe in, give a little push, push, push. Exhale, soften. One more time, inhale, push, push, push. And then as you exhale, blow all the air out and then we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna do a little pumping action here between where our rib cage ends and our belly button begins. So find that kind of space right in between. And you're gonna imagine like you're a little cat kind of clawing at this area. This is where the thoracic duct starts. So if we can pump this area, that's gonna to help to encourage and ignite the flow of that security line. And then release the hands down. We'll inhale, stretch the arms up, big stretch. And then exhale, push the walls away from you so palms are out to the sides as you come all the way down. Good. And then we're gonna extend the legs here and we're going to massage behind each knee. So hands are going to cup the knee and you're going to pump, kind of scooping it towards yourself. It might feel really nice to massage the patella, the kneecap, getting a little bit of warmth and heat to ease the joint and then come to the other side. Good, and then we'll recross the legs just for another moment sitting here. Hands to the knees. We can come off the pillow or bolster if you'd like so that you feel grounded down to the earth. And then sit up nice and tall when you arrive here. And then we're gonna inhale to pull your chin and your chest forward for seated cat and cow. Exhale, round, tuck the belly in as you tuck the chin. Inhale, using the hands to pull you forward, open up the chest, and then exhale, round and contract. Three more at your own pace, so go to whatever degree feels good. Feel your back stretching, your heart space opening in both directions. This is a really good one to do in a chair, if you're working or if you find yourself stagnant throughout the day. Getting this heart opening, this core contraction will help to pump and move these central lymphatics. And then when you're ready, we can start to create some circular movement. So coming forward, back and around, nice and slow, softening your face as you do this. Find somewhere that feels good. So notice, maybe when you come forward, it feels good to lift through the chest. Maybe get the head circling involved, nice. And then reverse the circle, go in the opposite way. Just feel your body moving, encouraging that energy to shift and move and flow. And then coming back to center, we're gonna come up onto our knees or our shins, knees and shins. So if you need to, you can pad underneath the knees. Sometimes that's really helpful if your knees are a little achy or you can always um, double over the mat too. So hip distance apart, find a nice stable spot here. Tuck the toes under and then we're just gonna shift side to side for a moment. So just getting a little bit of activation. Notice the toes stretching here. And then we're gonna create this full body movement here. So we're gonna do a little bit for the core, the trunk, and then we'll make our way down to get some leg lymph flow moving. So we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, keep your core engaged. You're gonna bring your arms behind you and to your sides as your chin starts to hover over the earth. And then use your core, engage the core, engage the legs to bring you all the way up and stretch up. And then exhale, coming down. Three more, inhale, lift and rise. Feel the stability in the lower half, the opening in the upper half. Exhale, good, breathe in. Reach up and rise. Exhale, last one, breathe in. And out. And then stretch up, lift up. 
And then exhale, we're gonna drop our hands down to the earth so that we come into all fours position here. If your wrists are bothering you, you can come onto fists or you can always come down onto forearms. And then we're gonna shift forward and back. So finding some movement, you can keep the toes tucked under or release them. So just finding a little bit of movement forward and back, noticing in the hips, maybe widening the hips a little bit. If that feels good or bring them closer together. So find comfort in this opening, in this beginning of creating awareness through the body. And then we'll come to sit on the heels, hands to the thighs. If this is super uncomfortable, create more space between the, the heels and the hips. So put a little blanket or pillow underneath. And then breathe here, sit up nice and tall, let the shoulders relax. And then draw the chin down towards the chest. We're gonna create a slow neck circle here. In one direction, just easing into this. Just breathing. Notice the heart rate, notice your breath. And then reverse the circle, go in the opposite direction. And then coming back to center, we're gonna draw our shoulders up towards our ears, back and down big movement with the shoulders. You can start to swim the arms if that feels good, bringing the arms up on the inhale, exhale back into the side of the body. Maintaining the breath, opening up through the heart. Nice job, everyone. And then interlace the hands, release the index fingers. We're gonna inhale, reach up, and as we do this, we're gonna come up onto the knees and then exhale, slowly lower, coming back onto the heels. Inhale, lifting up, stretching up, stretching through the hips. And then exhale, lowering. Nice, one more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower. Release the hands and then sweep the arms up. Stretch up one more time. Push the walls away as you come down and then let the arm just swoosh in the center. Inhale, lift, stretch up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach. Exhale, one more time. Big breath in. Let it go. And then slowly coming back into all fours, hands and, and knees. Tuck the toes under. And then we're going to get some movement with our legs here. So we're going to extend our right leg back. And then spread the fingers wide. You're gonna just keep the gaze down and you're gonna stretch forward and back, giving this right calf, this right leg, a little bit of love. Notice the stretching through this leg, breathing in and out here. And then bring that knee back down. We'll switch, go to the left, getting the calf on this side to stretch. And then bring the knees back together for cat and cow. So drop the belly, lift the chin in the chest, feel the pressure of the fingertips into the earth. And then exhale, round and bring that heart up towards the sky. Breathe in, roll yourself forward, stretching forward. Exhale. Three more, breathe in. Exhale, slow breath in and out, last one, and bring the hips back towards the heels, bring the legs out to one side, and then bring the legs out in front of us. So now we just opened up, we encourage lift movement in the upper half of the body. Now we've created space for the lower legs to promote lift drainage. So hands to the shins, 
And then we're going to create some little bit of pelvic movement. So coming into a little bit of a circle here, just finding a little nice massage for the glutes. And then we're going to take our hands behind us, fingertips facing towards our heels. So plant the hands down to the earth. Legs are still nice and wide and we're going to shift the legs side to side. So windshield wipering the legs side to side. Just notice, just breathe as you do this. This is helping to promote the inguinal and pelvic lymph node activation. So we're kind of compressing and releasing the hip joint. Nice. And then slowly coming down onto the forearms if you can. And we're going to keep this movement going. So now you can let your head kind of bob to one side and then the other if that feels good. Maybe find a little release through the spine. And then as you're ready, you're going to come all the way down to the earth. So letting your head melt to the ground, keeping the knees bent. This time we'll bring the arms out to the sides like a T. And then we'll keep this windshield wiper movement going side to side. Let the back of your head get a nice little massage. Breathing here. And then when you feel complete, we're going to bring the knees into the chest one at a time. And then we're going to continue this rock and roll. If you can't quite reach the legs, you can also take either your sweater or a towel and hold on to the towel like this. And then just kind of move the legs. But if you can grab a hold of the shins, just open up the legs so that the knees are coming towards the armpits. And then just breathing here, maybe getting a little stretch for the inner thighs. And then we're going to bring our hands to the back of the thighs, backs of the knees, and then we're going to extend one leg and then the other. And as you do this, just gently pumping and massaging behind the knee. Just breathing, letting the lymphatic fluid move through the legs. And then lifting both legs up if you can. We're going to point the toes up towards the sky and then flex the toes back towards your face. It's okay to keep a bend in the knees if that feels better. Pointing the toes and then flexing the toes back. Two more. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And then we're going to slowly drop the feet down to the earth. Bring the heels in a little closer to your bottom. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms come down to the earth. And then push your low spine into the earth so you engage your lower abdominal muscles. And then on the next breath in, push into the feet as you lift the hips up for a bridge. Gaze is just straight up towards the sky. Maybe the shoulders snuggle under slightly, but the, the neck is safe. Breathe in. And then slowly start with the upper back, start to melt your way down to the earth as slow as you can until your low spine connects. And then once it connects, we're going to inhale, push up again, reaching the hip bones up towards the sky, stretching, opening this area, feeling the strength in the legs, breathing in, and then slow exhale. We'll try this one more time. So take your time, breathe in as you lift. Exhale as you lower. And then we're gonna draw our right knee into the chest, the right knee only. And then we're gonna start to extend this right leg up towards the sky. And then we're gonna create circles with that right ankle. Let the shoulders relax. You can also hold the towel around the leg here too if it's too much to hold the leg and then we're going to bring that right heel across onto the top of that left thigh and then from here just let that right leg just fall out to the side 
And maybe right here feels like enough of a stretch. You just can stay here, breathe slowly, maybe using that right hand against the thigh as a little resistance. Flex that right foot, breathing in. You can stay here or slowly lifting that left leg. And then we'll take our hand, our right hand between this hole to meet the left hand around the left hamstring. Breathing here, this is a little bit more sensation, so you can stay whatever feels good for you for another two breaths. And then slowly dropping that left foot down, hug that right knee back into the chest, and we'll just create a little bit of a circular movement with that right knee. Go in one direction and then the other. And then extend that leg up to the sky one more time. And then hands down to the earth, palms out to the earth. Slowly lower the leg as nice and slow. Keep your low back connected to the earth. Engage your abs. Slowly drop that leg down so it hovers over the earth. Point the toe and then bring it back into the chest. One more time. I'm going to lift the leg. Palms connect down to the earth slowly lower, engage the muscles of that leg as you hover over the earth, point the toe, and then bring that knee back in. Drop the foot down, we're gonna windshield wiper the legs before we move to the other side. Maybe cactus the arms so that the chest gets a little bit of a release here through the pet. And then as you're ready, we're gonna draw that left knee into the chest, hugging it in. And then we're gonna extend that left leg up, finding some ankle movement with the left foot. Maybe tuck your chin in slightly to elongate the back of the neck, just as a little bit of a postural adjustment. Breathing in and out here. Flex the toes back, point them up. And then draw that knee into the chest for a moment and then bring that foot over towards the top of that right thigh. And again, you can stay here or take that left hand to give a little bit of a gentle assistance into the left thigh. Or you can lift that right leg, interlace behind the right thigh, flex the feet and breathe. Soften. Breathe in and out. One more slow breath in. On the exhale, release that right foot down. Hug the left knee into the chest for some circular movements. Opening up through that left hip. circles in the other way, another direction, and then extend that left leg. Last little movement here. Arms come down by your side, tuck the chin in, push the belly down so you're no space between your back and the mat, and then slowly lower that leg until it hovers over the earth. And then point the toe, bend the knee, bringing it back in. Two more times, lift the leg, Flex the toe back, keep that leg nice and strong as you lower. Point the toe when you hover and bend it in. One more, you've got this, breathe in. Exhale, lower. Point the toe, breathe in. Exhale, back into the chest, both knees into the chest. Soften through the face, maybe smile that you are all done, you did it. And then we'll come into our final relaxation pose. So get nice and cozy. So you might want to use a bolster or a blanket. So for the next few minutes, really get yourself comfortable. So maybe put something underneath your knees. Grab a blanket to surround you. To allow all the benefits of your practice to really melt in. So when you arrive, place your hands down by your sides, palms facing up as a way to open up the heart space. 
Let your heels connect with the earth. And then as you inhale, feel your front body rise up towards the sky. And as you exhale, feel the grounding and the filling of the back body. As you inhale, this is a way of you telling the universe to send good energy, love, kindness, and joy. And as you exhale, this is you telling the earth that you want grounding, stability, security, and comfort. Feeling the wave of your breath move in and out of you. Allowing each breath to release any tension or stuck energy. Feeling a sense of warmth come over you. In your mind on your next inhale say I choose exhale to let it go inhale I choose exhale to let it go continue with this free, joyful, energetic, loving body and mind. We'll start to wiggle our fingers and our toes coming back to our days, going into our weeks with a lot of confidence and hope and love for ourselves. And then inhale, reach your arms up overhead, stretch your body the toes to the hands, finding this big body opening as just a way of sealing in our practice. We'll draw our knees into the chest and then with your eyes closed, just gently lay on your side for one moment. And then you can slowly, peacefully pick yourself back up to come into a seated position where we began. lifting tall through your spine and then we'll reach our arms up for the last time together today palms connect thumbs come to our third eye in between our eyebrows give yourself a little massage here at the mind say thank you thank you thank you mind for staying present and strong and then draw your thumbs to your heart space. Say thank you, thank you, thank you, heart, for being so loving and kind to your mind and body. And then we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate all of you, and I will see you soon. Thank you.